like sometimes my sleep i used to sacrifice sometimes i used to sleep in floor itself so that when i wake up in morning i used to think why i am waking up like this so from last one year i would say that on an average i used to wake up at 3 am and if required i used to wake up at 1 am also because i always used to think that if i have to complete my revision no matter how much sleep i take i have to complete it Hello Himanshu hope you are doing good uh, first of all congratulations on such an amazing rank in engineering physics exam so before getting into the video can you give a brief intro about yourself yes sir so my name is Himanshu Thaplyal i hold a degree of btech which i have completed from uttarakhand 2020 was the first time when i decided to prepare for gate main motive basically was get good college and get better exposure so that i can decide for my future and somewhere there was a option that i can also prepare for engineering services but in 2020 attempt uh, uh, i failed basically i was not qualified and got 13000 rank then in 2021 i dedicated myself for gate only and uh, that was the first time when i cracked it and uh, joined nit karnataka because at that time it was at uh, 10th rank and i are a franking then in my mtech again i did not stop myself and uh, prepared for engineering services i started it was not that much good but still i gave my attempt in 22 in 23 as well in 23 i qualified prelims by 10 or 15 marks i gave mains but did not qualify that then in mtech again i decided finally that i want to do engineering services because till then i got uh, enough exposure and i decided that yes this is what i want to do then came back to delhi and again dedicated myself to engineering services i got uh, air1 in 2024 Awesome, awesome. So before getting into your preparation and what was your typical day routine, tell me this: how was the result day uh, for you? Yes, so it was uh, very shocking for everyone. I was just walking with my brother uh, Prabhat. So basically, my sir, his Guru Raj, actually he is my mentor from time of B Tech, called me and he told me uh, what you have done. So I thought maybe I qualified or something like that. So he told me open the video call. I opened it. and my tripti ma'am she is also my mentor she was crying a lot so i thought okay i maybe i cracked the paper i just opened the result from uh, bottom to up i was going slowly 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 then i saw i got air one so i also started crying my brother also started crying and uh, because we never uh, planned for that so we never expected that air one i am going to get so i also started crying then i called my uh, mother my father my sister and they all also started crying because they were waiting from very long time uh, so that was the day and then uh, that complete night i was unable to sleep even 2 3 days were like that only even now i am unable to complete my sleep properly so those are once in a lifetime memories and i am not sure what was your motivation behind preparing for esc sir there were uh, many motivations initially like uh, guru raj sir in my btech college he uh, called us basically in a cabin and he told that uh, because uh, i come from a very humble background my family basically he sir told me in order to uplift your family from uh, from where they are currently right now uh, you need to get into a better services uh, because psu also you can crack if you work hard but right now the best that you can do is engineering services so that is what first time i thought okay in my mind was there ki i will prepare for this then finally in mtech obviously again that thought process came that i want to prepare for engineering services this was the main motive that was there and second thing like my uh, sir and my ma'am used to uh, put a lot of effort on me so i would say after looking at their effort i used to get motivated that someone is doing a lot for me so i also have to give something uh, out of uh, gratitude or something like that and during this journey uh, one thing i want to mention that uh, uh, getting motivation sometimes is very difficult because uh, right now the lifestyle that we are having uh, basically we are getting good food we have roof to sleep so when we have everything uh, it is very difficult to get a motivation so what i used to do i started sacrificing something or the other thing like sometimes my sleep i used to sacrifice sometimes like i used to sleep in floor itself 
so that when i wake up in morning i used to think why i am uh, waking up like this so then the thought process came because i have to study i have to get it, get into civil services so that's how it started and that's how these all things so that uh, i should do this that's very inspiring actually so when you joined coaching what was your exact study routine uh, so from last one year i would say that on an average i used to wake up at 3 am and if required i used to wake up at 1 am also because when i always used to think that when it is required if i have to complete my revision no matter how much sleep i take i have to complete it so i used to wake up at 1 am also people used to tell me that you are not human being you are ghost you are waking at 1 am and there was a library nearby to my room so at 1 o'clock i used to go there immediately then around 5 o'clock i used to come back and uh, take uh, bath and everything and then i used to do puja worship and then half hour i will do meditation then sometimes i will go for running also after that i will again come back to library and again start uh, practicing question in morning time mostly i will do revision then in around 6 to 11 o'clock i will do uh, i will start practicing the questions from 11 to 1 i will have my lunch and uh, i will take one or two hour rest also sometimes after that from 2 to 5 i will start uh, focusing on non tech part that time i dedicated for that and after 5 to 6 there was a student i used to teach her c++ language and c language python so just because i want to fill my schedule completely i don't want to sit uh, just like that so that is why to fill it i used to teach someone and after 6 to 8 i had my session with my sir and ma'am uh, my ma'am used to teach me non tech basically how to talk and what word you have to use so she started my training in that way and with my sir actually he is working in airport authority of india so whatever technical knowledge i was having uh, i used to ask him like what he is doing and what are the parameter that he focuses while working in company so th- that is what uh, time i dedicated for then i will have my dinner and around 8:30 or 9 o'clock i will sleep then again it repeats oh that's uh, really shocking for me so himanshu on a scale of 10 how much would you think coaching has helped me around 6 i would say it helped because the schedule actually uh, i was able to make because of that only i did not had that much habit of sitting for uh, 8 hour 10 hour but after going to coaching that uh, discipline actually came so that uh, really helped me and also the subjects like advanced communication electronics these all subjects i i was not having idea initially even in non tech also i would say that uh, these all things some extra things were there uh, which really uh, improved uh, after going to coaching right 6 out of 10 is a decent score and if you are someone who is preparing for gate or esc 2026 yes academy is launching new batches from december 1 The regular batches are starting from 24th jan and 23rd february i suggest all the future aspirants to join coaching as early as possible because that will give you enough time for preparation and revision also in the end without any hurry you can use the code matic10 to get 10% off on all the courses and nowadays everyone has access to coaching right uh, be it online coaching or offline coaching or even in youtube also there are a lot of things which are available for free but still only few are able to get good ranks in gate or good ranks in engineering sales exam so what do you think is the differentiating parameter here because coaching alone cannot guarantee any rank what do you think uh, yes. in this aspect i think uh, like multiple reasons are there actually because uh, first thing is everyone is going to coaching but i saw that uh, from morning 8 to evening 8 classes are there they are just sitting and that data is getting feeded into their head they are unable to process so that is the first mistake that everyone is doing i was aware of that and i was not doing the, that from starting i have the strategy that uh, when i have to do and when not and second that thing that differentiated me is i think uh, like my as i mentioned guru raj sir so basically from november we started preparing for interview so in this interview basically we used to talk about practical aspect of the subject so from starting i uh, like got connected with the subject a lot so it was not like very tough for me i found, found it very easy because like when he used to tell that vs the value of vswr is very important and this is the practical value that we see so when i come back to copy i used to compare okay in numerical values also we are getting those similar values so i found that okay uh, 
it is very uh, i got habituated with those things so i think that that is what uh, was different uh, like strategy that uh, we took so how much did you score in interview and uh, prelims and mains what are your stage wise scores in prelims around 200 one marks and uh, in mains i think uh, 325 marks total and in interview 136 so total i have got 662 marks 136 in interview is really good yeah so the next question briefly share the book list and the test series that you have followed specifically for gate and es so sir books i would say that like in quora uh, there are a lot of youtube uh, videos also standard books are there that same books i have followed for topics in which i am getting confused so not any specific i will mention but i would say the the made easy uh, book that comes that book i have followed very thoroughly like i made my personal notes from those books only so they helped me a lot in all of the subjects then coming to non technical the gs part basically so i used to read the newspaper not only because if i will get information but i also thought that if i become a officer some day i should know about uh, things so i just uh, created that habit that daily i should read newspaper and then about other subjects In 2022, uh, I I have taken that online uh, course of Ace Academy. So in that, the non-tech part was there, and I made notes at that time. So those notes even helped me in 2024 also because the static part will be there. So that I have prepared even now also. So I think uh, that that is it. And then offline class, whatever the extra things were there, I have covered there. And test series, I would say in gate. Uh, AS Academy as well as Made Easy, both test series I have uh, given because I thought uh, why to leave anything. So both series I have followed.